Look at all this beautiful. First, I want to get into your fridge. You guys can see Phil's fridge on my Instagram at Stand Up Dan. I'm going to share the screen here so we can go through it. Um, Phil, I I always tell people you don't need to stage your fridge and. I don't know if your fridge always looks like this, but it looks so perfectly organized, very well staged. Did you stage this? Don't lie. No, me. my wife, though, cares deeply about clutter and too much and is this food still good and you got to get rid of this. this uh, what you're seeing is a lot of leftovers from everywhere we order from. I order out almost every day because, really? number one, I'm trying to support the restaurant industry uh, locally, and I uh, love it. That's the other reason. I absolutely love it. I, I think so if we can't travel, if we can't go out, right? Yeah. You know, the world can come to you. We're so blessed in Los Angeles to have such a diverse population, and that means a diverse culinary scene, right? Absolutely. So your odds of hitting it big at dinner are really good because we have more people in Los Angeles from different parts of the world than any other place, right? Yes, sir. So we, get, we get the benefit of, you know, lots and lots of choices and lots and lots of talent. Don't you find, Dan, that uh, the takeout game has really been elevated since Absolutely. you can't have a restaurant and what used to be a side business, a takeout and delivery, is now the business. And so I, I'm so proud of everybody for really upping their game. Yeah, I agree with you. I feel like before all this, uh, the pandemic stuff, I feel like uh, Sugarfish was the only one that had a real beautiful curated uh, takeout game. And right. now it seems like everyone is following their lead and making really uh, cool little boxes and, you know, the way that it's, uh, they, they put a lot of thought in the presentation and it's pretty awesome. I think everything from pizza to, to you know, the big heavy hitters, even like Providence and Bavel and Bestia and Moza, all phenomenal, just phenomenal. Like we, we, my son said, this is one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. And we were sitting at the kitchen table eating out of the, you know, containers from taking. Which says, which, I don't know if that just says little about uh, you and your yeah. wife's cooking uh, <laughs> acumen. <laughs> we are not chefs. I am not a chef. I don't have the time or the temperament, the patience. I'm just not, but chefs seem to like me because I love them. Yes. I'm you a really do. fan and a great audience for chefs. I mean, it comes off very authentically in the show. We'll get to the show in a second. I want to go back to the fridge here. So yep. you, have, you have a bottle of sake here. I, I feel like, is that yep. a bottle of sake in the bottom there? Exactly right, yeah. Are you a big sake drinker? When, when I'm eating sushi, I am. Oh, okay, got it. And that then you goes have, great with it, right? It's the yep. best. It's the best. You have so many jars. You're, you guys are such a jar family. I love it. A lot of pickles, a lot of pickles. olives. I love sauerkraut. I love... The, uh, the, the uh, booby sauerkraut, uh, they came out with a spicy sauerkraut where they put some red peppers in with the, with the and, and that's like my favorite thing on hot dogs. I mean, you have a lot, your hot sauce drawer is like, it's, you have a whole hot sauce drawer. This is why. Yeah. Uh, my, my, my brother used to call my mom's house, you know, where we grew up, we didn't have any real food in the house, but we were the house of condiments. We always had a million, and with no hot sauce, no, none. None, it doesn't, it doesn't really. And, and ketchup-y things, like, like really not great stuff, but you know, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a hot sauce fan, I'm a mustard fan, I'm a, I'm a barbecue sauce fan, I'm an everything sauce, I love sauce. And it's I mean, the cuisine of the world is sauce, isn't it? it the, whole, the whole world cuisine is about taking maybe less than stellar or first rate ingredients and adding a sauce that not only make them palatable, but make them delicious. Absolutely. 
Absolutely. And I like any food that makes your eyes bug out. And so when you eat spicy foods, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Um, so let's get into your show. I, you know, I- <laughs> Did you I, see I, enough? Oh, wait, wait, if you go back for one second. Yeah, yeah. Go, Great give one. it to me. Top shelf in the fridge. Okay. Pink, that's it. Pink top on a can. This right over here. here. Yeah. That's for Murray the dog. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> that's his dog food yeah we share the we share the fridge wow all. the dog you don't even share it the dog gets top shelf oh, he's a top shelf dog wow but you see a lot of the containers all the containers that's all takeout leftovers where are you ordering from mostly right now i can send you a list of everywhere we've been but uh what was last night oh last night we got spoon by h have you done that I have done that, and I don't know if we're going to get along here because I didn't love it. Uh, did you do the Monday night thing? No, what's the Monday night thing? She does like a beautiful bento box. Oh, okay. I had the soup. I had one of the soups when I went there. And I don't know. I always, I always compare. I, maybe, this is me, maybe this is wrong of me, but I, I feel like Japanese soups uh, have Korean soups beat. Um, like a ramen, like for me, a ramen will, I, I'll, I'll take a ramen over a, a Korean noodles or, or even pho any, any day. Yes. Tell me that I'm wrong. Although that pho that you had in Vietnam in your show looked insane with the beef fat. I'm very lucky. I get to taste a lot of great stuff. And I like almost everything. People look at the show and they can say, uh, it looks like you like everything. Yeah. And most of the time that's true, but here's the other truth. If I don't like it, I'm not putting it in the show. Mm. Like, what kind of show would that be? Hey, try this, you flew all the way here, hey, put this in your mouth. Okay, what do you think? Eh, it's all right. <laughs> I'm not showing you that. I'm Interesting. Sure. My main goal is to get you to travel, so I want to show you the best stuff, all the good stuff. So I'm not acting, I really, really do like this stuff. We filmed for a week, right? Yeah. And, uh, you're seeing less than an hour. So I'm showing you the highlights, the highlight yeah. reel. Yeah, I mean, and it's so, that's, your show is so important right now because it's like, I feel like before we used to watch it and be like, oh, I wanna go to that place. Like I, I would watch your show and by the end, I'd be like on kayak looking at boarding passes. <laughs> um, I, had I never had a desire to go to Ireland, for example. And I was like, oh my God, I gotta get to Ireland. Um, yes, you do. There's, and, you, get, I, you know, I can't, I, 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 you know, Italy's my absolute favorite because I just feel like it's part of me. I feel like maybe in another life I was Italian or something. It just feels like another home to me. And it kind of has, for me, everything I love, which is gorgeous scenery, incredible food, and everyone's hugging and kissing you. So mm. that's like, for me, that's, that's, but I've absolutely loved everywhere I've been. Talking about chicken a la king, mango and garbanzo tabbouleh, real potatoes and vegetables, with roasted garlic and basil, zucchini ziti, granola fruit bar. Yeah. Look at all this beautiful food. Mm.